You know, this is weird for me, man. I just had a, <laughs> I just had a very emotional moment, bro. And that's not, it's not something I experience a lot. You know what I'm saying in my life. You know, uh, looking at a goddamn band. I was getting some stock photos together, and looking up some stuff because I want to put together um, an introduction on one of my channels, and I want to use my a lot of stuff from my city, my home city, New Orleans. And there's this band down there, a youth band called Roots of Music. That band didn't exist when I was small. Um, it's from nine to 14 years old. I mean, they be blowing, they be stepping. I mean, it's it's a beautiful thing. And, you know, uh, this emotional breakdown is very odd for me, bro, believe me. But, but what made me have it was, I'm looking at these nine to 14 year, old, year olds and I'm thinking to myself, that was me. That was me. I entered a band in the, I think the fourth grade. I started music. Um, played played sports coming up in school also in elementary school. Switched to music around the fourth grade, fourth, fifth grade. And went on to join my, uh, I was in the band at my elementary school. I was in the band in my junior high school. And after that, I never picked up my horns again. I mean, I played several uh, brass instruments. I was good in the band. I was very, very, very good. I was a very good musician. I was headed somewhere with it. But life caught, caught up, started catching up with me at a young age. Think about this now. I'm 13, 14 years old and I haven't picked up my horn since. Because life started. Things started. I had to start doing things. You know, around this time, the economics of Ronald Reagan had started taking a toll on family structures. Money wasn't the same. You, you could tell almost instantly that something had changed in the family finances, almost instantly. I mean, almost overnight, you could see his policies taking effect. And I, I had to start doing doing things to, uh, to take care of myself a little bit more. And it, 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 it made me realize that these people rob us out of our lives, bro. I'm looking at these kids stepping and marching and blowing and, and, and beating on the drums and clashing the cymbals. And I'm thinking, that's so beautiful, man, because that's all we ever wanted to do. That was us. We didn't want bullet holes, people. We didn't want bullet holes and knife wounds and gashes in the head from getting hit with pipes and bats and stuff and street fights. We didn't want none of that stuff. We didn't want penitentiary knife fights, people. All we wanted to do was enjoy life. That's it. But the system won't allow you to enjoy life. And that's the problem that I have with the Black Channel. That's the problem I have with, 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 with Dr. Boyce Watkins. That's the problem I have with Dr. Umar Johnson. It's a problem I have with all Pan-Africanists, all Black conservatives, all Black liberals, the Nation of Islam, all bougie niggas. This is the problem I have with y'all. Y'all don't see how this system that all of y'all advocate on behalf of literally robs human beings of their humanity. And you have no problem with it. Life could be so beautiful. The world could be so beautiful. What are you saying? Well, I mean, you got to work, says who? Well, I mean, how are you going to pay for things? Don't the earth give you everything you need? I mean, how are you going to eat? Don't the earth give you everything you need? How are you going to have clothes? Don't the earth give you everything you need? Everything we have comes from the earth. We will have it anyway. They are not doing nothing for us, but teaching us to be dependent on the system. We don't even understand how clothes are made. We don't understand how anything is made. If this stuff was hard to make, people, we wouldn't have it. It's not hard to make. Well, you gotta have the right stuff. No, the right, the, the stuff that we have that mass produce things came about out of a necessity, out of a demand for it. But the, the, the thing you don't understand is that everything we have is created from elements and things from the earth. Everything. There's this golden diamond pendant from the earth. This titanium chain. No, it is not. It's not platinum. I don't wear platinum. I can't afford it. It's titanium chain from the earth. 
this table, earth, the lights here, earth, the filaments in the light, earth. Everything we have comes from the earth, people. Only thing they doing is robbing us out of the, 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 the experience of being alive. They rob us out of our unique experiences as human beings by forcing us to partake in the system. So we have to become a cog somewhere in the system. And all of y'all are okay with that. Minister Farrakhan is okay with that. And the Nation of Islam, okay with that. The Hebrew Israelites, okay with that. The Moors, okay with that. Black Christians, okay with that. Black conservatives, black liberals, okay with that. Okay, you don't want to call yourself conservative liberal? Black Republicans, black Democrats, okay with that. Pan-Africanists, pro-black Ados, okay with that. You are all okay with the fact that, that, that we have been stripped of everything that makes us human. We have no unique identity anymore because we have to become a part of the system. We're not allowed to be whatever we want to be. We're not allowed to pursue our own interests. Y'all talk about you can be whatever you want to be. You put your mind, no, you can't. Because I never wanted none of this. I never wanted none of those experiences. Look, man, I could write a fucking book that's deeper than Donald Gorns on all the real life stuff that I've done and have been a part of. And if I talk too much in it, I'm gonna get the death penalty. That's how bad it is. And I wanted none of it. I didn't ask for none of it. I was a straight A student that liked to play sports and liked to play music. And I liked my girls. That was it. All the twists and turns my life been through since then has all been a result of me reacting to the pressures and demands of the system. You have two choices, basically you conform to it and become a part of it, or you try to buck it and go your own way. And if you go your own way, you get you niggas online talking about, oh man, you took the easy way out. You could have did, you could have went to school and got a job. Well, how that's working out for y'all right now? How that's working out for y'all right now? We got all these people running around with, with college degrees that are underemployed or unemployed. Most of y'all came in for a, a, a one bedroom apartment. We struggling. You know what I mean? Black people, yeah, you, you know, if you wanna live in some slums, you can afford it, but if you wanna live in a, a, a so-called nice neighborhood, you can't afford it. How How is it benefiting you now to be a cog in the system? Explain it to me. Because I, I, I see everything too, you know? See, y'all can lie to yourselves, you can't lie to me. I see this stuff. You're not benefiting from this system. You're struggling because of it. You are hurting because of it. You are miserable because of it. You, 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 are, you are depressed because of it. You're not thriving within this system. All I wanted to do, man, was just enjoy my life coming up. I never wanted to be carrying guns by the age of 13. Actually, you're younger than that, to be, to be totally honest. I was in junior high still, so I had to be about 12. 11, 11 going on 12, I started carrying guns. That's why that was around my last years of actually uh, playing music. Because I already started making a transition. It took about another two years and I just, I, I didn't play music anymore. Yeah, I still managed to run a little track in high school. I still managed to, um, to, play, to play some baseball in high school and stuff like that. But basically, I spent high school hustling, man. Going to school and hustling. That's what I did. I didn't want none of this stuff, people. Half the things that I've seen and, and, and done, I could, I, no, I, I'll be just fine without having seen it or done it. Yeah, it give me some stories to tell. I got some stuff I could talk about. I got some experiences I could talk about. But looking at the, the, that band, it just reminded me of what they took from me, man. It reminded me of this straight A student that was so smart I had advanced classes. I wasn't just a straight A student, I had advanced classes because I was ahead of everybody. 
how you go from having advanced classes to being in the penitentiary. Yeah, I know you bougie niggas wanna just say, well, you know, you should've, you should've used that to go to school. I did go to school, I went to engineering school. But when, I'm, but when, you, but when you're not a bitch, when you don't fold every time somebody in authority try to abuse that authority, you gonna find yourself in a lot of trouble throughout life. You're gonna clash with people. You're gonna fight with people physically at times. You're gonna eventually physically fight with the wrong person and they're gonna kick you out that, 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 that program. I did graduate from the engineering school. So now you can say, well, you had, you had something you could have fell back on. Yeah, I did. I had something I could have fell back on. But truth be told, you know, my plight would have still been the same, bro. I was still looking forward to long, long work hours, busting my ass, underappreciated, underpaid. I knew what the reality was, so I took a chance. I went my own way. Plus, after being inside the school system and all this stuff and, and, and seeing how authorities abuse you, talk crazy to you, I, 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 I didn't want to go through that on no job. I didn't want to go through it on another job. I couldn't go through that again. That's not a flaw on me. I can't help it if I'm not wired to let nobody just walk all over me, talk down on me, talk stupid to me. It's not my fault I'm not wired that way. No human being should be subjected to that anyway. No human being should be told that they have to accept stuff like that. Y'all would say there's something wrong with me. Y'all would never say, well, you know what? You're not supposed to have to go through that. Y'all wouldn't say that. To y'all, I should just take that. But no human being should have to take that kind of abuse. No human being should have to take that type of verbal lashing. And I don't take it. You talk crazy to me, I'm gonna slap the shit out of you. So I get kicked out the, uh, I, I basically got fired. I went straight from engineering school into a job that I didn't last long into. So now I'm on the streets. I'm grinding out, I'm balling them. I mean, I'm, I'm living, look, I'm living well. I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm making nothing but money. I got my own schedule, my own boss, nobody standing over me. It was, it was, it was love. But at the same time, street life have a lot of headaches that come with it. You got kidnappers, you know, and that's not even counting the jack boy. I'm just talking about kidnappers. Motherfuckers who snatch you up for real, hold you for ransom. You got kidnappers, you got jack boys, then you got the fucking police. I could have done without most of these experiences that I had. Look, there was no point in my life growing up where I looked down the future and said, hey, I want to end up with bullet holes, knife holes all in my body, you know, scars and penitentiary tattoos all over my body. That's my future. That, that's what I want for my life. I, I, I want to be sitting around here and I have stories to talk about. And I mention my friend's name. I got to say rest in peace. Almost every other name because everybody's dead. I got stories literally where it was like seven of us there and five of us dead. For real. Come on, man. Who want this? And I myself has almost, have almost been killed several times. You know, I've had my own brushes with, 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 with death more than once. You think that I seen that down my future? And y'all want to blame crime on everything, but what is, but what's the real cause of it? This system. There would be no crime if we didn't have this system. There would be no robberies because there would be nothing to rob. Hell, I don't even think there would be problems with men and women because this system created the whole beef between men and women. Because part of the beef is economics. And economics is the system that was at the heart of the whole feminist talking point is economics. But if we had no economics, then what would be the talking point? They wouldn't have a talking point. If they couldn't tell women, get your own money, you know, so, so you don't have to listen to a man and depend on a man, there wouldn't be a talking point. 
This system under these people, and you know what I'm talking about, is evil. And all you black people that support this stuff, man, whether you do it openly, directly, like the conservatives and liberals do, or whether you do it, you know, uh, 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 on the down low, like people like Dr. Boyce Watkins and Dr. Umar Johnson and the Pan-Africanists do, it doesn't matter. You know, or, 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 or like Mr. Farrakhan and Nation Islam do, they, they support this system, they're not anti this system. In no way, no way, shape or form, they're not anti this system. They're not anti the system. And you know, I just had a talk with my big brother about this. Not, not my blood big brother, my other big brother. And you know, I could tell he didn't really understand what I was saying when I, when I was trying to tell him that the nation has failed us because they could have they could have had us in a different situation by now. Now, I mean, is it fair to put that only on the nation? Probably not. But my point is, Farrakhan's Goal was supposed to was supposed to establish a nation of Islam within this nation, and he hasn't done that. He hasn't even tried. All they do is convince their people, anybody who listen to them, to double down on the system, go to school, become self-employed, or get a job. That's it. That's it. Money. It's still about money with them. Even the, even the farmlands and stuff that they acquire, they sell everything. They deal with everything from a financial point of view, selling everything. Everything with them is about economics. That's supporting the system. So you have to understand that all you people let us down, the black channel. He talk, he called himself the, 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 the place of black intellectual thought or whatever, talk or whatever, discussion. No, you're not, bro. No, you're not. You just another one of them niggas that 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 if you really felt like you could cross over and and, 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 and be in white land, you wouldn't even talk to black people no more. Cause you can hear it in his tone. The dude have an obvious disdain for black people. Listen to him. You can hear it in how he talk because all these dudes do is focus on us. Every night, every other, you know, every few videos they would talk about white society and you know the problems of white people. I mean, you know, they do that. You know what I'm saying? But listen to how you talk about us. We are never merely victims of a system that they create. You know, he talked like, 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 like it's our fault. He was sitting about brothers like me, like everything I've been through was my fault, my choice. Him and people like Obsidian and all these other brothers would say, well, you had some agency and they like using these kind of terms. You had agency in it, how? I chose none of that, bro. I was a young athlete, a straight-A student that liked music. If the roots of music band would have been around when I was nine years old, I would have been in that band. And I would have been in that band until I was 14. And you know, and, and you know why the reason why I believe that band exists it's because they gutted the music programs out of most schools, particularly elementary schools and middle schools. They gutted the music programs. So they created a music program for the students, for the children. Good job on them. And they got good uniforms. I mean, oh man, nice. But do you think the city paid for that? I, I doubt it. I doubt it. That's hard working people's donations and stuff. When y'all talk about the black community, how we don't stick together and stuff. What you've seen is the black community sticking together. A lot of our NOAA programs, you know, a lot of our parks have been, ha have been funded for, for, for decades, really, by people in the community. Namely drug dealers. The city never really paid for a lot of that stuff. We paid for it. And when my kids got older, start playing, I pitched in. Our parents bought all of our equipment, all the equipment, nothing was given to us. We had all our own equipment, helmets, shoulder pads, you know, tugs, everything. We bought everything. And for the kids that couldn't buy it, somebody in the neighborhood would, would, would pitch in. 
some drug dealer, one of the parents, couple of the parents. They will make sure that every kid on that team had it. This is the black community I'm talking about. Don't sit there and tell me that we don't look out for each other. Don't sit there and tell me that we don't have no, no humanity. Now, I don't know what neighborhoods y'all come from, but in New Orleans, we different. You see it right there with a youth band of nine to 14 year olds. They well trained. They blonde, they sound, they, 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 they sound like a, a high school band. Well conditioned. Uniforms are immaculate. Nah, but this is this is not this is not the, the 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 image of a failed community. Our community is broken in other ways, but the problem is, and I want to get this out, and I'm going to say this as, as this journey go on. Those that are representing us on the mainstream, they are not a part of our community. L. Sharpton is not a part of that, and his kind. You know. Corn Cornell West and his kind is not a part of that. People like Dr. Umar is not a part. See, they're not a part of our community anymore. Umar might still be because he don't have it like that. He's not, he's, he's not rich like that. But Henry Louis Gates, he's not a part of our community. Why y'all listen to him? Why y'all listen to any of these people? The people that they put out front to talk for us, they're not a part of our community. A lot of these old bougie ass Negroes in these organizations, they're not a part of our community. A lot of these dudes on YouTube that bash us all day, talk bad about us, they probably don't even live around black people. Look them up. Some of them probably never, you know, some of them probably barely see black people. But we didn't focus because they realized they can't fit in with the other people. So they turn back towards us and they blame us for why they can't be accepted by, 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 by the people they really want to be accepted by. But if you really come around us into our communities, you realize we don't want to be accepted by the other people. We don't care about what they do or how they do it. We don't want their validation. We just want them to leave us the hell alone. And that's why this is the real black community that you see right here. What you see right here on the screen. This is the real black community. This is a black city. Overwhelmingly majority black city. Showing you how black people do when they are left alone. You don't have bands or activities like this in, 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 in black enclaves within majority white cities. They don't allow you to have it. They don't want you to have any type of happiness. They don't want you to have any type of peace. And these people have robbed us, man. And we have aided and abetted in the, in, in the robbery of our own humanity. I'm talking about all these dudes that y'all like. I'm not about to sit here and just, I, I know I said a few names, but goddamn it, it's all of them. Until they prove otherwise, Taz, all of them. Because the last I checked, when we were created, there was no system. Human beings walked this planet for eons without a governmental system. All governmental systems do is control and own you. We continuously support this system of madness to our own detriment. It's time for us to wake up, people. I just had to get this off my chest, man. Just looking at that, that, that youth band, it just... It just reminded me of, of the direction I was going and how this system derailed me. How I ended up having a, a, a completely different experience in life all because of these people. All because they want you to fit into their, their system. They want you to become a cog in their system. This is not cool, people. It's not cool. It's not cool at all. On that note, I'm out of here. I'm ready to sign myself a lot. Peace.